गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अवर मैथ्स क्लास यूनिट सिक्स बी माई मल्टीपल आई विल बी योर फैक्टर इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो स्टूडेंट्स वी स्टडी अबाउट द फैक्टर वॉट आर द फैक्टर वी हैव रिटर्न द मेन पॉइंट ऑफ द फैक्टर एंड वी ऑल्सो सॉल्व वन एक्सरसाइज रिलेटेड टू फाइंडिंग आउट द फैक्टर ऑफ द फॉलोइंग नंबर्स today we will start with the next part of the our uh, lesson which is the multiples multiple first of all student what do you mean by multiple multiple kya hota hai what do you mean by multiple in a simple way like if we talk students let's take a number i will take the number 5 Let's write down a table of five. Five ones are five. Five twos are ten. Five threes are fifteen. Five fours are twenty. Five fives are twenty-five. And go over and go over. You all know the table of five very well. You all also know the table four. Students, now five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, and further. If we continue the table, further number. These all the numbers are called as the multiples of five. If we multiply five by one, we get ten. If we multiply five by two, we get ten. Uh, uh, we get if we multiply five by one, we get five. If we multiply five by two, we get ten. Five by three, fifteen. Five by four, twenty. Five by twenty-five. So these are the multiples of the number five. In a multiple spread, if we divide any of the number with five, then we will get. Exact answer without any reminder. In simple language, you can see five will be the exact divisor of this number. मतलब आप कोई भी इस twenty five को मतलब five से divide करता हूँ twenty five five divided by five 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 जा twenty five zero exactly divisible by five. So the five is called the multiple of the multiple. और ट्वेंटी फाइव अगर ट्वेंटी फाइव को अगर मैं फाइव से डिवाइड करूंगा तो आंसर आई विल गेट द जीरो स्टूडेंट्स तो मल्टीपल्स मीन फॉर द नंबर दैट कैन बी डिवाइडेड बाय अ गिवन नंबर विदाउट गिविंग एनी रिमाइंडर आर कॉल द मल्टीपल्स ऑफ द गिवन नंबर इन सिंपल लैंग्वेज एनी नंबर विच कम्स इन द टेबल ऑफ द गिवन नंबर द गिवन नंबर इज फाइव The numbers which are come in that table, they all are the multiples of the given number. And if we divide this number by the given number, we can divide it exactly with the remainder zero or with no remainder. Understood, students? So now we will write down the main points of the you uh, the topic multiples. The main point also you are supposed to write down in your notebook. Take a new page where you have yesterday uh, previous exercise where you have done the question number one. Leave that page where you completed. Now take a new page. Use the heading multiples and you will write down the main point of it. Main point. Previously written main points were about factors. So today we will write down the main point regarding to multiples. The number. That can be divided by a given number of 
without leaving a That means friends, we cannot obtain the greatest of multiple of any number. For example, see friends, what is multiple of 12? If it goes on and goes on, it goes on and goes on. Because the numbers are infinite, so we cannot obtain the greatest multiple of any number. We multiply it, then the number will come and come and come. So the greatest number will not be given. Because it is unknown, infinite. Next, there are infinite multiples of any non-zero number. me 
means apart from zero, if we see the multiples of any number, they are infinite. Infinite for the they don't have the n. Understood, students? This was. These are the main points which you are supposed to write down in your notebook regarding to the multiples. These are the main points of multiples. Now, students, we will solve some rough sums regarding to the multiples. Question number two of this lesson. Find. First, five multiples of the following numbers. First is seven and the seven. Seven two is fourteen. Seven three is twenty one. Seven four is twenty eight. And seven five is thirty five. We are supposed to write down only first five. One two three four and five multiple because the multiples are. And in finite, so we will only write down the first five multiples of the number in the question two. Second, let's take the number ten. Now, the multiples. Multiples of ten. First is the ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. The first five multiples of ten are twenty, thirty, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, and fifty. Third, check the multiple of Let's say about fifty. Let's take forty. Multiples fourteen ones are fourteen. Fourteen twos are twenty eight. Then twelve fourteen threes are how much? Forty two, fourteen, fourza. How much students? Fourteen fourza and fourteen fourza. If you don't know the tables, then you are supposed to learn the tables and you are supposed to multiply or eat or you uh, you are multiply and write. Fourteen fourza. We can write down fifteen six and fourteen fourza. It will be. Seven. These are the multiples of forty. So fourteen, twenty-eight, forty-two, fifty-six, and seventy are the multiples of forty. Now, students, three sums are done. Rest of some sums I will give to you for the practice. So, the sum number four. The number is sum number four. I will give the number. Seventy. So number five, I will give you the number twenty-five. So number six, I will give you the number thirty-two. So you are supposed to write down the multiples, first five multiples of these three numbers in your 
homework. Understood, students? So here we have solved our question number two. Find first five multiples of the following number. In here three sum I have solved. Rest of the three sums you are supposed to solve. Rest of the three sums you are supposed to solve. Understood, students? I hope you have understood. What do you mean by multiples? First, we have written the main uh, main points, and then we solve question number two. Find out the first five multiples of the following. These things you are supposed to write down in your notebook. 